Hello. Who am I speaking with? Please turn down your uh, speakers. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, my oh. name's Tony. Hi, Tony. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Happy Women's History Month. Oh, thank you so much. How have so you been honored. celebrating it? Uh, you know, just normal women's stuff, brushing my hair, yeah. uh, talking about periods, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just standard women's history stuff. No, oh, yeah, you know, all the important things. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, what can I What can I help you with? Um, well, I first want to say, love boy ca- boys cast. Thank you. you know, I'm probably not supposed to listen. Love it. Yep. Um, You're not supposed to, but it's fine. We'll give you a pass. It's Women's History Month. Oh, thank you so much. Just for this month, though. Absolutely. Um, so I recently started doing some stand-up comedy. Um, nice. Yeah. Yes. Um, way to really fuck up your life. I. Uh... Yeah, I know it's it's hard because women aren't funny. Um, yes, but, they are. So, um, I was actually born without um, my left hand. So a lot of my like comedy has been about like being disabled, all the like ridiculous shit that people have said to me. That yeah. like I mean that's the thing too. How long have you been doing it for? Um. So I actually just started back in February. Um, okay. I've always wanted to do it, but um. I signed up for these classes to like, you know, learn how to like build like a five minute set and yeah, like, yeah. structure of jokes and stuff. Um, so I guess I just wanted to know, you know, I've like listened to some of your stuff real funny. I didn't know if you have any advice for starting uh, out. I or... would say absolutely that you do have to kind of talk about that stuff because it's not something if you didn't talk about your like your disability or whatever, everybody it's like, you know, whatever the proverbial like elephant in the room. But right. uh, I would say do not be precious with your comedy right now at all. Like, because you are going to look back on the if, if you stick with comedy, you're going to look back on this comedy and you are going to be mortified. I would not <laughs> videotape this. Com- I would record video of this comedy uh, for you to have. Don't post it online. Right. Don't post it online. Like, I'm not saying like never, but. I would say give it like a year mm-hmm. at least before you post anything online because comedy is just like a real just reps thing. And mm-hmm. then where do you live? You're in uh, Ohio? Uh, no, Pennsylvania. I Pennsylvania. Live are, are, are there any clubs? Like do you have any comedy clubs nearby? Yeah, yeah. There's a couple nearby. Um, I live right outside of Philly too, so I can always go down there. But there's um, a couple places around here that do open mic nights on Thursday nights. Okay. So I was thinking that's always that's probably a good place to so, start. Too. Uh, I did do, uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, I did do um one my my first show. Um, we did like a grad show for everybody that was in the in the class. Yeah, um, how'd it go? It went really well. Um, I, I think it was good. You know, people were laughing, but we also kind of had like a, a good audience because it was like yeah, all it's like all friends and family. And family yeah. And, yeah, the craziest right. is you hear the stories where it was like uh there was um. I did this taping. It's actually just reminded me of this. It was like 10 years ago in Canada. There was this channel called iChannel. And then one day they're like some, I can't remember who, but they're like, yeah, they're, they're giving all these comedians in Canada, like, you know, newer comedians, these like, it was like a TV, like a, like a station in like, you know, the two hundreds and nobody watched, but they're like, you get mm-hmm. a lot of money to go do a set and, uh, and it's going to be on TV or whatever. And so I did one. And one of the guys who was on my night his whole family was in the audience. It was like the whole audience was his family and he <laughs> ate a dick. And I was like, oh. it's, but I'm like, you brought your whole family. Do they not know to just not let you bomb? It's on TV. Like there's like a whole, there's four oh. cameras and like, it's a whole production. I'm like, do they not just understand that regardless of how bad this may be, you just, you laugh. I I, I remember oh, they, being they like, really this let him down. I know, but everybody, Thought who was there was like this is crazy, that that they just allowed him to just just gave him a real a lot of tough love. Oh man, yeah, I totally rough. forgot about that. But anyways, I would say uh, you just got to do as as much comedy uh, as possible. That that's the only real mm-hmm. thing, and there's no real um, way around that. Mm-hmm. Uh, is you just got to get on stage as much as possible. I would say a really good thing to do if if uh, this is a good piece of advice for newer comedians is start your own show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then you can get a lot of stage time. You can host. Uh, you can learn how to host. You can do like, you know, 20 minutes a show, which I imagine you're doing spots that might be five or eight minutes. So right, yeah. in terms of efficiency, it sucks because you have to like, you know, maybe promote a show and run it and find a bar that'll have your show. But uh, I would say that that's what I would do. It's a good piece of advice, in my opinion. Yeah, cool. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. All right. Thanks for calling, Tony. Yep. Have a good one. Good night. Bye.